Okay, so um, all right. um, let's have a look here. Second house. <clears throat> um, second house, we've got Saturn return age, and then we've got Isha medicine woman. You are a channel for divine healing power. So I do feel that this is relating um, to your um, your inherent talents, your abilities, um, your skills, and so on. So um, this is a, this is about um, an aspect of yourself which you've come in with. Um, now this may be activating at this time, or it's being activated by something, or you are busy working on it, and um, that's why your second house um, is showing up. But it's also second house also deals with self worth. It also deals with income. And um, also to do with property, land, real estate, um, ownership of things, uh, possessions, ownership of things, material things as well. So um, it, it has a number of uh, ways that it, this could be manifesting. I do. I feel this is um, that you are wanting to use your um, your healing power. So this is something that's God given. It's something you've come in with. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're a masculine or a feminine medicine woman. It's just saying that you have the ability to channel um, divine healing power. And um, that if you haven't started um, using this um, in your in your life, then um, so either something's going to trigger it or it's going to be um, something that you... Um, you know, we'll want to, want to, want to start working on now. Um, and, um, it, it's something that you, it's some sort of skill or talent or ability that is, is already in you. It may be latent. Um, in other words, that's why when it gets triggered, it starts to come out, or it could be something that you're already working on and you're trying to hone that skill at this time. It's tied in with your self worth. So don't feel, especially as you've got, um, blossoming here, uh, Irakira in the 11th house, which is about connecting to, to, um, to, to lots of other, um, sort of social groups and so on, or connections, um, within groups and sort of uh, in the world, as it were. So you may be, um, feeling a little bit like, um, either intimidated since you've got the Saturn return age here. You're either feeling intimidated or you're feeling that perhaps, um, you know, you might, you might be feeling sort of inhibited by it, um, overwhelmed by the possibilities or overwhelmed by what's it, what it, what it entails and things like that. So your self worth may be, um, getting a bit of a, um, a look in as well. So don't feel <clears throat> at any point or any time, especially with a Saturn return age, don't feel that you don't have the skills or you don't have the time or you're not the right age. Uh, whether that's older or younger, whatever it may be, don't feel that you have um, um, anything holding you back at this time. Don't allow that to hold you back, okay? Especially with the Saturn return age. This is saying to you that you are more than capable of going after what it is that you feel you should be doing now, um, and don't allow those things to hold you back. I'll get to this card in a minute. So that deals with the self-worth. Um, your value systems also come into this. So you may need to look at your value systems with regards to um, either your self-worth to do with these talents and abilities, or it could be income related. Um, you may you may find that um, um, you have issues around um, income or receiving income or working with your talents and abilities um, and then the, the income coming in to do with that, or it could be that you need to, uh, whatever income or whatever you are, whatever is coming from, um, you know, using these talents and abilities needs to be channeled in some way um, from an income point of view. So this creates a foundation for yourself. So this is about laying a foundation for yourself, utilizing the the whatever is coming in for you um, uh, to to further this, to actually lay a foundation, but also to further whatever it is that you're you're focusing on currently. Okay, so what you value, how you value things, um, and it doesn't have to be material. As I say, you could be laying a foundation um, from a monetary point of view, but you could also be um, laying out the foundation just kind of hone your skills. Um, and it can also be um, connected to uh, perhaps you want to expand what you're doing. 
um, or, or, or use your skills in some way to create a firmer foundation from a, a, a property point of view or a real estate point of view. Perhaps you need to change where you are currently, either where you're living or where you're working from, something, something to do with that. Um, maybe coming in, maybe tied up with actually utilizing this now. So it could be something that you're working towards and you're thinking that where you are currently isn't suited actually to do this this uh, position. Um, it could be to do with, uh, you know, uh, literally physically where you are. You maybe need a, a bigger area or you want to change something or you need to um, look at a bigger space, um, you know, or, or allocate a space um, or, or look at possibly um, some sort of uh, acquisition. Uh, which is going to assist you in some way um, with this, the channeling of this and the utilization of your skills and abilities. Now, this divine healing power can be, obviously, it's your divine healing power. Now, this can be channeled in many, many different ways, okay, many ways. So <clears throat> it's your connection to the divine and how you conduct yourself in whatever it is that you're doing. So it could be spiritual things that you're involved in, um, or it could be the way you are approaching uh, whatever work or whatever <clears> talent and ability you're working on. It's the way you go about it with integrity, with honor, with spirit um, and connecting to that and actually bringing down um, almost channeled guidance or guidance for others or spreading that around in some way through this um, whatever it is that you're, that you're utilizing at this time. I mean, it could be in your profession, whatever that may be. It could even be property related. Maybe you're involved in that. Um, but it's actually utilizing this healing energy, this divine healing energy and, and finding ways to, to channel it, channel it into the, what you're doing at um, currently. Um, it can also be from a monetary point of view, you know, so, um, use the, you, you, whatever income you are getting, use that to, uh, to further assist yourself and others. Um, and, and, and actually be in touch with your guidance and with the, um, you know, like universal principles, universal purpose, um, and channel that purpose into your life. So all of these are coming in, um, for this here. For the, um, Saturn return age, this is about a second chance. This is about now, um, having a look at the past, where you have been, what you have done, how things have worked out. Um, it, as I said, it could even be physically around a place that you're living in, or it could be to do, to do with the way you've earned your income, um, or your value systems. It comes in very strongly with uh, Saturn. Your value systems and also, um, material things, all of these. You, it, it's kind of, um, Saturn is always about some sort of course correction or some sort of, um, uh, release and redirect. So you release your energy from where it has been and you now change direction into something which is where you want to go. Now, um, this, as I said, could be you channeling these um, abilities that you have into a, co a completely different area, or it could be something that has been latent in you and is now coming out, or it was something that you really wanted to do in the past. And you could never get to do it or took a back seat for some reason. You could have had family responsibilities. You could have been involved in another career, whatever it may have been. Um, but this card is about this turning around for you now. So there may be some sort of loss involved. Um, but this is uh, in order to make way for you to make choices which are more aligned with you now. Okay, so it's second chance. It's also what you should have, could have or would have done in the past if everything had gone according to um, your loves, your desires, your, you know, what was your instinct? What is it that you really wanted to do at some other point in your life? Um, and now it comes up, the opportunity to re release where it has been or whatever went down, release your energy from there and now redirect it into the, into the area that you want to move in. This is a wonderful, um, actual, a wonderful opportunity to create um, to release yourself from responsibilities which are no longer suited for your current circumstances. So this may also be a, like a realization or a sort of a very realistic look at how things have panned out. It can also be what you have sown you are reaping currently. So if things haven't worked out or you've had a disappointment or um, you're realizing that perhaps, you know, in the past um, things weren't handled um 
in a way which you are perceiving as 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 good, um, perhaps you're perceiving it as not good, um, or just a really um, strong learning experience, or some sort of disappointment, or just looking at things in the past and, and, and seeing them differently now. Whatever went down, however it went down, now is your chance to redirect, to actually um, course correct your actions. Um, and this is about going after going after things which are close to your heart, things that are resonating with you. It's 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 almost like uh, for somebody who's got empty nest, the children have left and now they are, are thinking, well, what can I do with my life? Um, and you're going to get little hints and, and triggers, especially with medicine woman here, um, you know, ways that are going to appear to you now. Um, or it could be something that you're going to do. Your long, it's a long held interest of yours or a long held uh, course that you wanted to do or some aspect of your life, which it just was never, just never came to fruition. Okay. Now's your chance. Okay. Don't let age as in, um, too old or too young or, um, you don't have enough wisdom or you don't have enough experience or you don't have enough understanding or whatever it may be. Don't allow any of those things to stand in your way. Okay. Now's your chance. Um, and, um, you know, sometimes with the Saturn return age, it can also be from a financial perspective. It can be that, um, certain things are just not working for you anymore. Um, because Saturn is all about foundations, systems, um, being very realistic. Um, and, um, it, it, it's, it's about building a very strong foundation in your life. And you want to do that. You want to do that, um, with your talents and skills. You want to do that with your income. You want to do that with your value systems. They must be relevant to who and what you are now, not what who and what you were before. Um, it also must be um, to do with your self worth. Okay, so if you was there, if there was something you really wanted to do before and you couldn't, um, that would have affected your self worth in some way. So now it's a chance to actually go with it. You know, um, follow what's important in your heart. What feels? What is going to light you up? What is really going to um, to go, going to set a new standard for you? Something that's going to stand the test of time, something that you're going to really apply yourself to because with Saturn, there are no shortcuts. Um, it takes time to reach this point. Um, it takes time to unfold, but it's about laying really good foundations. So any foundations in the past that you've laid and they didn't work out, now's the time to, uh, to, to re have a re go at that. Um, and this may very well be coming in. Um, here with this, or it could be applying later, just take it as it resonates. Una leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. I do feel it's to do with this. Um, something, something that you, that is really close to your heart that hasn't got a look in before or was never manifested properly before. Now is the time. Take a leap of faith. All right. Um, do it. Do it with all your heart. And apply yourself to this, uh, this whatever it is that you want to do. Apply yourself, put the work in, um, and trim things if you have to, rearrange things if you have to. You need to re release your energies from where they were and redirect them now. And this is involved, this is about taking a leap of faith. This is now, um, t honoring yourself, honoring who you are and what you're here to do and actually going for it now, allowing yourself to actually go for it. Um, and don't, and don't let these other things stand in your way, insecurities or worries about this or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, leap of faith. Um, take a risk and put your heart's true desire, um, into action. 